Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. I am giving you a sneak peek video on my brand new blind spot training course I just released. Now the entire video you're about to watch is me shutting down a live presentation. You wanna watch the whole thing, dude. I promise you, you're going to grow like no other. And I'm giving you this video for free. I shower you guys with free content all the time. I have built a brand new training series uh, that I'm releasing. It's called Blind Spots. Now listen to me. It's the blind spots that leaders and salespeople and entrepreneurs and influencers, they don't see and people can't close and sell and get what they want because of these blind spots. I reverse engineered how I teach and I went into every single little thing that stops people from becoming the top 1% in every industry in the world. If you wanna grow like never before, here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to watch the full video that's coming in. And I want for you, if you see it and you find value in it and you love it, I want you to immediately go down into the description box right now and I want you to buy my new Blind Spots training series. And when you start watching it, you're gonna be like, oh my God. I cannot believe Andy's releasing this to the world. I'm the most dangerous human being that ever existed. But, so I can prove it to you. Guys, go to watch the next video, and when you're done, go down to the description box, buy your training course, and welcome to changing your life. Let's get to the video. All right, guys, so in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about money, all right? I'm gonna talk to Sean. Sean's obviously gonna role play with me, and we're gonna talk about money. Now, money means this. Somebody might say the price is too high. Somebody might say, I'm gonna get a couple more estimates. Somebody might say they don't see value in it. Now listen, I need you to understand this, okay? If, if this is the price of your product and the value's up here, when value exceeds price, the price isn't too high. So the first 90% of the time, obviously I'm building value in, Sh in Sean and myself and in the product. So when I do bring the price out, Sean is not blown away. He's not sticker shocked. I've built the value in it. And matter of fact, <laughs> if I know my price is here, I need to build this much value. Hey guys, the video that you're watching right now is a sneak peek. I released this video for you to watch on my brand new Blind Spot training series. Below in the description box, you guys can click on a link. If you want to kill it, my best work I ever put out, Go down to the description box now, click your link, you'll start training on it in seconds, it's gonna change your life. So if somebody says they don't see that it's worth it, I mean, clearly you've just done a bad job. Yeah. Okay, I, can we just get that out of the way? Now let's get to some objections. Cause people are like, well this guy doesn't wanna pay it. He doesn't wanna pay because you didn't build enough value. Yeah. And listen man, that's not no one's fault but yourself. Yeah. Okay, like no one else, that's not the client's fault. The, the client's not an asshole. Okay, you just didn't do a good job. You need to own that and you need to get better. You need to learn all these little micro skills that make things great. You need to understand more about your product, more about your business, more about what you do. So let's get into money. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the scenario for a minute, right? Because we train every industry and obviously, um, I wanna use a different example, like we'll just change it up. So I asked Sean, I go, okay, Sean, I'm gonna, I wanna hit you with money. And I told Sean to hit me with like maybe like an estimate or something, okay? Mm -hmm. Like he wants to get another estimate or we're too high, he's gotten cheaper estimates. I know you guys go through a lot of this, okay? Somebody's found something cheaper. Yeah. Now, I tried to pick something that's like an off, um, maybe an off sales, so, so pool sales. Mm -hmm. I actually just had a pool salesman who was here and um, about a month ago and he's increased his pool sales about 4X since he's been here. Super cool, right? Um, but I was like, man, like, let's use a pull scenario, okay? Because you guys are very smart. You guys can learn what we're saying and you can apply that to your industry, okay? And understand the objections that you need to be ready for in your industry. So Sean, I've designed the pool, everything that you and your, your wife want. We're gonna act like his wife is right here. You know, uh, you and your wife want, and obviously um, this is what I envision you guys had put this together and this is what it cost and we can go ahead and take a deposit today and I'll go ahead and start getting everything um, handled. Not even close. This is our third estimate, Andy, and you're thirty thousand dollars higher mm. than your competition. Like I don't understand where that money's coming from. Yeah. So okay, t number one, totally understand, appreciate that. And by the way, you guys are very important to me. Um, so so number one, I don't like cheap stuff. Okay. Do you guys like cheap stuff? No, not at all. Okay. So like, let's not talk about cheap stuff, okay. because everything has cost including into it. Okay. I'm not giving you the same pool that someone else is giving you, and I'm saying, hey. Let's add 30 grand to it. Okay. Now listen to me. Would you agree, number one, that you and your wife have an envision in your head? Look, we're looking into your backyard right now, Sean. Mm -hmm. Look out there with me. Yeah. Do you see a blank backyard? You see a blank canvas. Yeah. You're going to give a pool man a blank canvas, yeah. <clears throat> a paint and a paintbrush. And he's going to paint a picture 
which is build your pool, yeah. of what you and your wife have in your head. Mm -hmm. Now, can I ask you a question? As good as I am, can I crawl in your head and see what you see? No. I'm just trying to listen to what you're saying and writing it down. Mm -hmm. Sean, I want to explain to you why people do business with us. I want to explain to you why we're the number one pool installer in the country for luxury pools, which is what you and her want. Yes. The one thing that you're not going to do is go cheap on your property. Mm -hmm. Your home is the greatest asset that you have and the most expensive asset. And by the way, this pool that you're buying today, whether it's 30,000 more or 30,000 less, the nicer the pool, 30,000 more in value. The, the, the cheaper the pool, 30,000 less in property value. Your money you're spending with your pool today, your pool that you're buying from him or me or anyone else, it's basically free. Okay. So the question is, is how great is the pool? How happy will you guys be with it? Because that will drive the property value up. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yes. So now that we realize that cheaper pools aren't better than expensive pools, mm -hmm. the main thing that's going to matter are two different things. Number one, you and your wife in your head envision what that pool looks like. Can you guys see it? Absolutely. You're, you're, you're positive. Yes. Okay, well, let me explain this. No one else can see what's in your head. Everyone else thinks they understand it, and you're going to pay them any amount of money, whether it's me for 30 grand more or them for 30 grand less, and they're going to go build that pool in your backyard. What would it feel like if they completed the pool and you and your wife looked out there and it wasn't what was in your head? It would be very frustrating. It'd be very upsetting. Now you'll understand why 90% of the clients, once they see the pools that we design for the clients, I see what you have in your head yeah. and I'm putting it in that backyard. When I'm done, when I'm done, you're going to refer me to everybody in the world. You know, you're going to say, how did you see what I saw? Sean, that's what I do. Look, I know a lot of people, they have pool businesses and they also have 15 other businesses. They have plumbing businesses, they have HVAC businesses. They have all, Sean, they have all these businesses. You know why? They're in it to make money. Sean, did you know when they go to install your pool, do you know they'll hire anybody and everybody that'll work for cheap labor to go install that pool? No. Sean, do you, uh, you, I mean, you think they go out and find very expensive people that they can pay all the money to that are certified pool experts to go build that? You think they really do that, Sean? No. What I've learned is that there's two different separators of businesses. There's these ones over here that want to go the cheap road. They want the cheapest estimates. It's a race to the bottom, and they think that that's what the customers want. And that's why today we've been programmed in society to see a cheaper price and go, oh, better deal. Yeah. Sean, you know what a ripoff is? If you and your wife had a vision in here, what you want, and you look in that backyard and that doesn't happen, whatever money you spent, whether it's a little or a lot, ripped you off. Am I right? Yeah. Do you understand? Right. Yep. Sean, I will tell you today with you and your wife, listen, before we make a deal, ironclad handshake. Grab my hand. As a man, my grandfather taught me ironclad handshake. You only take bets you know you can win. Ma'am? You shake my hand too. I'm going to tell you this. I see what you guys see in your head. I know how important your family is to you. I know that you work hard in your life. I know you work hard. I know you guys want to spend more family time in that backyard. Yes. I know you can see it, and that's why the juice is worth the squeeze to spend the money. I will tell you, I will deliver and execute a pull to you and your family that when you look in your backyard, it will bring tears to your eyes, that dreams do come true and people do care. And I'm going to deliver that pull to both of you. And I'm going to hire people that are going to cost more money to make sure when that pull goes in, it lasts for 20 years. And you guys never have a problem. Could you imagine summertime and there's a crack in the pool and you tell the kids we can't swim this year because you got to wait for someone to come in? Uh, better yet, could you imagine that these cheaper pool companies that are a race to the bottom go out of business? 78% of pool companies go out of business in, in two years. So imagine you have a problem and you pick up the phone in two years and literally they're not in business anymore. Oh, yeah. Not what good. would you do? Freak out. Ask me what the number one thing that I do in my company is. What's the number one thing you do in your company? Go in and redo pools that amateurs put in. Oh, okay. I go in and I rip them out all the way. Mm -hmm. Now, could you imagine trying to save 30 grand and then literally having to come and pay for a whole new pool again? No, that wouldn't be good. Listen. Wouldn't be good. Nightmares do exist. Okay. I see people that go through them all the time. You guys seem like you got a great family. Mm -hmm. Ironclad handshake. Okay. Also in a contract. I will deliver a pull of, of your dreams, one of your liking to your children that they can't believe that mom and bad, dad did that. Now my question to you is this, will you allow me the honor to taking care and executing the dreams of the family and putting this pool in your backyard, which will be so gorgeous and so beautiful, it'll increase your property value through a point where if you guys ever decide to sell it, when someone walks into the house, they'll say, I'll buy it just because of the pool.
The money's never lost. Okay. The money's always there, and I'll do a quality job. There's quantity and quality. I, by the way, I don't take every, I don't take anybody's credit card if they have a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. I want to find good people that want to find dream pools to spend time with their family in it, and, and I like you guys. So I'll do this, I'll execute, I'll put all my, my energy and all my time into it to delivering this. There will be no disappointment. Ma'am, I will make sure when we come in here, we keep the backyard clean, we do a good job. There will be no frustration, there will be no problems. We will be respectful, we will be at the job on time, we will take care of it on time. And I've seen a lot of these pools, they start and they drag out six months longer than they're supposed to because people are amateurs. You will have none of those problems with me. I will deliver the dream and then at the end of the day, it'll be such a beautiful pool, it'll end up being free and you guys will get everything you want if you allow me the honor. Okay. Yep. That's Sounds it. Makes sense. Thank you so much, ma'am. I greatly appreciate you. Welcome to having the best memories of the kids in your backyard. What did I do? Did I say they're cheaper? Oh man. Well, if I could take five thousand off, would you do it? Listen, you guys have to understand something. I keep saying this. Belief, belief in your company, belief in what you do, belief in yourself. What did I do? I just cared more about Sean than Sean cared about himself. I just included his wife. I went into memories. I went into to their kids. I also went into the fact that, listen, like at the end of the day, like what we're doing isn't really even costing any more money. It's just literally a choice. You know, what would the risk be to go with somebody cheaper and not get what they want? So remember, people will either buy for want for gain, like they want to pull, they want to buy for want for gain, or fear of loss. What if they miss out on me, which could deliver their dream pull, and some other amateur, because they went cheaper, couldn't deliver it? How would they feel if they looked in their backyard, the work was done, and literally their money was spent, and the pool wasn't what they had in their head? Dude, people mess this up all the time, which is why you need to show people that you are the professional, yeah. okay? So, with that being said, when it comes time to value and money, not only did I bid, build the value, yeah. by the way, can I ask a question? I never gave you a price on the pool, but did you guys feel the value in the pool that I built? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you had to write down on a piece of paper, what was the price of the value of the pool that I just sold him? I bet it's hard to put a number on it because I put so many areas of value into that pool that like, and myself and them, and also I put risk. Like listen, when you do business with a professional like me, Sean, it's just risk transfer. You're just transferring the risk over from the amateurs to a pro, which means you're gonna get what you want. And in order for that to happen, it's gonna cost a little more money. But at the end of the day, it's really not costing any more money because if I do a good job, which I am, and you guys are going to be happy with it, you're going to have 15, 20 years of memories and literally the beautiful pull I put in, it's going to last because if they put in a cheaper pull and it ends up breaking and you end up spending a lot of money on it, you're still going to spend the same amount of money and get a cheap pull. Like I can reroute money any way that I want. Guys, understand value, understand money. This is how to close on the money topic. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.